Oh, somebody is here. Hello, hello, hello. It's a fight. Hello everybody, welcome back to the J Center 2 Gaming Channel. My name is Jacob, you can just call me Jay here. Today we're back in Path of Titans for, you know what you clicked on, the fifth episode of the Gross series. But I just want to kind of open up here on the patch notes here, because there's some pretty really cool things that has happened since we've last played. The biggest thing that I want to mention here is that the critters are now enabled by default. So I did make a video uh, about last week where I specifically went out and hunted for the critters. That whole video is focused around critters, so if you'd like to go see kind of what they're about, that's a good place to get started. But today we're going to be looking for critters on Sand Isle the Megalania and see if I can catch one, because they're, they're pretty quick. Real quickly, those are a few other things that I think are worth mentioning here. You can pause the video if you'd like to see kind of everything that they added. They did a lot of balancing, a lot of changes to some of the damages here and there. Um, but there's a few that I think we're going to notice as players a lot. Um, one of them is uh, fixed all dinosaurs sliding backwards slightly when activating precise movement. That was just kind of something all dinosaurs did. They kind of slid around, so that's gone. Uh, they've upgraded support on, on controllers. That's huge. Uh, and like I said down here, <laughs> added some uh, you know attack damage to the Mars Volda and you know changed abilities and all that stuff um, but the max character limit increased to 25 that's good because I mean now with growth it's gonna take a lot to get 25 characters but in the past I have had more than 25 and when the, a new dinosaur came out I had to delete an old one so that feels bad but no longer an issue so that's that let's go ahead and dive in Ooh, big shiny upgrade button this is new okay, what this is okay so this is I think I'll also take time to go over this. They changed the pay program for this game. So you can either pay 30 bucks and get everything, um, or you can actually now pay $7 just to get four dinosaurs of your choice. So if you want to kind of test the game out a little bit, um, that's where this is, uh, what this menu is all about, basically. But uh, I already own everything, so we're just going to go ahead and dive into multiplayer. All right, guys, we are back with Sandial once again, hanging out at this little lagoon that we ended, on, uh, ended the last episode on awesome so today's episode like i said we're gonna look for critters that's gonna be the main focus of today's growth uh episode but we're gonna continue our journey right if you've been following this adventure of sand Isle, you know we started in the north here we went out east kind of went south and kind of wrapped around so today i think we're gonna stick in kind of the lower uh section of the map here and kind of maybe go check out world's fall edge i was mentioning that in the past i also will go find hoodoo hills it is somewhere so Sandai will find this at some point in his life, <laughs> um, but uh, wasn't last time. <laughs> All right, let's get a move on. Uh oh, look at this, guys! Immediately, whew, was bugged out there a little bit, a little scary. I was like, uh oh, am I gonna be able to move? Uh, sketch. Okay, guys. Well, like usual, um, if anything cool happens, uh, I'll bring you guys in so you guys can see all the interesting stuff and don't have to watch me uh, pick up, you know, 40 acorns here and, uh, you know, 60 lychee there. <laughs> all right, let's get on. Adventure Three Horn Grasslands. Three Horn Grasslands. I spent a good amount of time here last time I was playing it, uh, playing this game. I spent a good amount of time on some of the pan realism servers because they have passive growth. I may make an episode in the future uh, over there because the passive growth is really nice. You spend like two hours and you're pretty much almost full, which is really exciting um, and just kind of speeds up the process of, of growth here. I have mentioned a bunch of times, I, I am a fan of kind of the slow, long-winded growth cycle. Um, like we have here for Sand Isle, right? Because like once I finally get this guy to full on the official surface, I'm going to feel strong, right? I'm going to feel powerful and feel rewarded that I had worked this whole way on the creatures. But that's nice to have this. Sometimes you just kind of want to play something and get really big really fast. And specifically when you're playing with uh, with friends, I highly recommend it. Um, so we were on the Pan Realism server and uh, we're playing some Allosauruses. And we hung out here at Three Horn Grassland for a good like 30, 40 minutes and got a lot of growth. It's a good spot. Um, so I'm gonna roll up here and uh, try to get a drink of water here for Sand Dial. Um, but this spot's pretty, pretty calm, pretty, pretty relaxing. Um, I don't expect to see anybody out here, so we should be safe. All right, rolling into Three Horn Grasslands proper now. It looks, looks pretty quiet. It should be all right. Go ahead and sprint over here because I don't want to die. Dehydration. I don't remember to stay hydrated. <laughs> But guys, as I like to ask in the series, um, as Sand Isle pulls up here to 
get a drink of water himself. Let's grab it right here. This seems like a nice, safe little quiet. 96% water quality too, so I should keep my head up and looking around just in case, uh, just in case somebody's nearby. Cause it's not 100%. Somebody was here recently. But yeah, guys, as he's drinking, uh, let me know what you guys are drinking today. I'm drinking a cane sugar Coca-Cola, which is 10 times better than the corn syrup Coca-Cola, 100%. So. Um, Coca-Cola, you're never going to sponsor me, but if you want to sponsor me, here's my uh, Coca-Cola ad. <laughs> all right. And just like that, we got Sand Isle all up and running. So I'm going to hang out here. I'm going to collect some lake weed. I know that there is a, um, a collection quest here that you get. I'll probably get it after the lake weed. Um, and the drop-off... It wants you to get uh, mushrooms, and the drop-off is like right near a pile of mushrooms. It's like the easiest quest in the world. So if I get that, I'll show you guys. But yeah, let me gather some liquid real quick, and then we'll, uh, we'll continue our journey out west. Just like that, I think we done. And I did get this um, death cap drop-off quest, so let me run over there, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. It's, it's stupid close. It's pretty hilarious. All right, everybody, I am approaching that spot. Check this out. So it wants you to grab these death caps, right? Like there's some death caps there. There's some death caps over under those trees over there. And like, yeah, you could grab those and run those over here. Um, but the drop off has this pile right next to it. Next to these trees, I'm gonna run out of stamina here, but let me show you. Look at that, they're right there. <laughs> and there's like plenty, right? You only need six. Uh, in fact, I was here with the group, like I said, and as the group quest was 15, I think, maybe 20. Um, we still were able to do it with just these guys right here. So super easy quest. Grab one right there, <laughs> drop it off here. And uh, yeah, let me do this uh, five more times and we got easy quest to start the day. Gotta love it. We have done all the quests here in Three Horn Grasslands. Looks like it's just Lake Weed and that super easy drop off, but honestly not a bad spot. It's also really, you know, tucked in the bottom of the map here, so I like it. All right, so we're gonna run over, continue our journey west, like I said. Um, we'll peep our head into the Traveler's Basin, which is actually one of my all time favorite spots in the entire map, so we'll definitely peep that. And then we might take a look at World's Fall Edge. I've been talking about it a lot throughout this series and how it's one of my favorite places in the map simply just because of how it looks. Um, I don't actually think it has any quests out there. Um, hopefully they've changed that. I know they have updated a few places here and there as the updates have rolled out. Um, so we can swing our head by. We're in the neighborhood, right? We'll swing by World's Fall's Edge and uh, see what's going on. Um, Traveler's Basins, however, I do know has a lot of quests. And it's also connected to the Mire, which has quests. And above that is, I think it's called Drop Off Lake. Drop Off Lake also has some quests. So good questing in this area. So we will hang out here today in this general area and uh, see what it brings for us but yeah right now let's uh let's head off, run out a little looks like a little northwest and we'll hit traveler's basin and uh and see what's going on on also i keep running out of stamina because i'm so used to playing that allosaurus who was just sprinting through the forest all day yeah this guy uh he's quick but he does not have a lot of stamina <laughs> but everybody as we kind of let sand dial here catch his breath and kind of roam around um the Question of the day for you guys. Now, obviously, we always ask, what are you guys drinking? I love to hear that. Coca-Cola for me today. Um, but the conversation I want to spark up in the comments is about bands today. You might be able to tell I'm wearing my tie-dye shirt. This is Grateful Dead, or one of my Grateful Dead shirts. Uh, I'm a big fan of Grateful Dead, mainly because of my father. He listened to them religiously, honestly, growing up. Um, and you know, plays in a lot of cover bands, Grateful Dead cover bands. So I've I've always been around Grateful Dead. I wouldn't say that they're our favorite band in the world. That spot goes to Expendables, which is a uh, band out of Santa Cruz, California. Highly recommend you guys check them out if you're into what I like to call California surf rock. Um, but the open world, or the taking a step back, the greater world would probably just call them reggae. Um, but if you want to <laughs> get deeper into reggae and kind of specify what it is more specifically. I like to say it's California surf rock because it's got a little bit got a little bit of rock and roll in there mixed in with the uh, the reggae roots that they've got going on. 
Uh, but yeah, let me know, guys, what you like listening to. Some of your favorite bands. Uh, I'm a big, big fan of music. Uh, I don't talk about it too much on the channel, but music is very important to me. I play alto saxophone and um, you know started on the flute. I play drums, so I'm always loving, loving music and loving to hear some new music, some new tunes, some new bands out there. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys are listening to. Maybe right now what you're listening to or some of your favorite bands. And also let me know if you're a fan of Grateful Dead because they're cool in my book. All right, we have just entered Traveler's Basin. Like I said, one of my one of my all-time favorite spots on the map. And the main reason for that is because it is a massive lake, which can hold, in my opinion, up to two subaquatic creatures. Um, even if they're aggressive to each other, there's enough distance to kind of swim away. There's like um, there's down logs and reeds under there, so it's like you can kind of use it to evade. Um, some of the best experiences, honestly, that I've ever had in this game was when I was a juvenile. Two adolescents, Darko. I spent the entire time right here. Um, although I went a little bit north, like we'll go today, uh, you know, up in the, uh, like I said, the mire and the, uh, the drop-off lake. But what makes this place really, really cool is that there's an island on it. And that island is the location for the water replenishment quest. So what ends up happening if you're hanging out here in Traveler's Basins for long enough is the water quality will drop either from you or for other people coming in because it's a pretty popular spot if you hang out here for a while you'll see people coming in and out and, and frequenting the lake it's it's huge it's a big lake one of the biggest on the map too um but yeah once the water quality drops and you need that replenish quest well it becomes a very prime hunting location for subaquatic creatures the main reason is because aquatic creatures have to swim to go turn in that water so if they arrive here and they need water the only thing that they can do is to start working up the water or going north to the mire that might honestly be the safer spot <laughs> the safer bet um but if, anyway if you're trying to get that quest done then uh yeah you got to be careful uh because the subaquatic creatures like me when i was playing my sarco we're doing this we're lurking just under the surface you know what i mean and so yeah you got to be careful around here because you never know who is under the water just lurking. But because of that, I love it. And even though it's gonna completely drain all of Sandile's stamina here, we're gonna hang out underwater for a bit. I should probably turn my HUD on so I can watch my oxygen, because <laughs> I'm not a tr I'm not a Sarko. <laughs> but yeah, we'll hang out here for a little bit. I'm surprised I didn't get any quests, if I'm honest. Um, a little bit of a bummer, to be honest. I would love to have uh, done at least, at least some lake weed, right? At least I'm like, but anyway, this is the spot, guys, that I was talking about on this uh, this island here. The turn in for the quest is right here, and this nice little honestly, it's a nice little like little spa for sand dial. Look at this, nice. We'll do that. Take a take a screenshot, sand dial. There you go, <laughs> looking good. But yeah, this is a this is a really good spot if you're if you're playing a Sarko, if you're playing a Spino, a Suko even. Um, or hell, you're playing on official servers and you're playing a, a Dino Kyrus and you just want to cause some havoc to anybody who comes along, hang out right here and people will try to cross from shore to island and uh, you'll just be lurking, waiting to get them. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, and that has been my only kill that I've done um, with my Sarko and I got it when I was like just about adolescence. I killed a... I think it was a, either a adolescence or juvenile as well um poor little das plutosaurus he didn't know what what hit him <laughs> poor guy but hey i was the same age it's just he went on he went in the water when he definitely should not have gone in the water <laughs> all right well unfortunately we don't have any quests here it's a good uh good place to come i like i like to show you guys the cool locations here um but not cool enough to have a quest unfortunately so we're going to continue up north um, to go check out the mire, and then we'll go check out Drop Off Lake, and then after that, I'll show you Will Falls Edge, and uh, hopefully we come across somebody. But today's episode, we're down in the corner, right? Different episodes are gonna have different vibes based off of the journey that Sand Isle's taking, and today might be just you know getting some quiet growth in the south, uh, southwestern corner of the map, and that that might be all right with me. <laughs> also, guys, as we're kind of journeying up to the mire here. Um, on that topic of uh, just kind of having a quieter day, I want you guys to know that my goal for these episodes is not to get a lot of growth. 
That's not really the, the, the whole point. The whole point is just to hop on Path of Titans and live the life of Sandile. Yeah, you know, obviously I'm going to be doing quests and I'm going to be uh, trying to play smart and I'm going to show you guys what's going on and all of this here and there. Um, but if I do an episode and a lot's going on or, you know, we've got a lot of stuff to talk about and uh, we're just kind of hanging out, maybe we get four quests done, not much growth, I think that's okay. Ultimately, we're going to have all of Sandile's adventure here uh, cataloged and, you know, like I keep saying, we'll get to the hunting, but right now we're trying not to be hunted and, um, yeah taking it nice and slow and carefully and trying to get up these rocks but yeah <laughs> there we go <laughs> um but yeah i hope you guys are okay with um you know different kind of style videos with these series it's a little bit more laid back and uh, i know a lot of you have said that you enjoy the, the kind of more chill approach to the series and uh, i appreciate that appreciate you and uh i hope it's a good time Speaking of good times, I think Sandile's gonna have quite a good time here at the Mire. The Mire is a very quiet place, uh, like everywhere we've been today. Uh, tucked into the, well, except Traveling Space, that, that place is pretty loud. Um, but not as many people come up here to the Mire. Um, the thing that is interesting about the Mire, it's one of the game's few swamps, but it only actually has like one spot where you can actually submerge. So even though it is a swamp, it's not very good for uh, some aquatic creatures. I'm not really sure why they decided to do that. Um, also, side note here is I am currently at what used to be called the Bend, um, but they actually took away that uh, the name here. Um, you can see that I am currently in the mire, but this bend in the river used to literally be called the Bend. Um, so I'm not sure why they took it away. It's you know it is just literally a bend in the river, so maybe they thought it was a little bit overnamed. Uh, but I liked it. It was a cool spot. Um, if you sit up there at that hill, you can kind of see the whole bend. And it's just a nice little hunting spot, you know? People are going to run up and down the river, getting from the mire down to Traveler's, ba uh, Traveler's Basin. They took the name away, which is interesting. Makes me wonder how many other named places were out there that uh, I used to know about and used to used to catalog because I went around and, and got all the names. Um, and it's gone. It's no longer there. Poof. <laughs> Here it is, the mire. We are here to do some Amanito. Actually, let's check this out. Let's check out the precise movement. Um, so backing up, they said they used to slide. Let's see if I hold Alt and back up. Mm, I still slide a little bit, but I do see that my model is starting to work a little bit. Yeah, not bad. Much better than it used to be, but you still slide. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna drink some water. I'm gonna gather some 35 Anamita mushrooms, and then we shall uh, run up to Drop Off Lake. Who, ha or what? What am I saying? <laughs> who, <laughs> who has a better chance? It's not a person; it's a place. Anyway, that place has a better chance for us to run into people. Uh, I've seen a lot of people up at Drop Off Lake before. People usually just kind of ignore this mire here. But yeah, let me get this quest done real quick. Should be, should be great. Also guys, I've been thinking about starting to, I don't want to stream too much and I don't want to promise that I'll stream every Tuesday or Monday or whatever I decide. Um, but on Mondays and Tuesdays are starting to free up for me and I'm thinking about picking about two or three hours where I just sit down and play a dinosaur here in Path of Titans and maybe the aisle too. Um, and I might call it uh, sit back, kick back Tuesdays or something <laughs> where we all just kind of hang out and and grow and it's it's meant to be like this series where it'll be really laid back really chill um but let me know if you guys would tune in for that if it's something that you'd be interested in i wouldn't do sand dial here um sand dial is strictly for this series like i was saying we're going to document everything here in this series for uh, you guys to see with sand dial um but it'd be somebody else maybe i'd pick um an allosaurus or something um or maybe we get a big triceratops it would be one creature that i would keep kind of hopping on and it would be uh, it'd be like a stream dinosaur right um let me know if you guys are interested in that because that's something i've been thinking about and uh might be in our future here on the channel also check it out guys this is the this is the one spot that you can you can submerge here in the mire it's it's not deep at all <laughs> yeah you're, you're not hiding a, a spido in this little area you can hide a you can hide a megalania though that's for sure maybe this is the ooh, fish <laughs> I was gonna say maybe this is uh the mire is truly meant for some subaquatic megalanias like we are. 
you know, I say that there's no place to submerge down in the mire, but technically this pool of water, which is up the waterfalls from that swamp area I just was, technically this is also the mire, and that is a good place to submerge. But there's no enemy to mushrooms down there, so nobody's going to be doing the quest down there. So people in the mire aren't really going to be up here anyway. Um, so might be a good place to kind of hang out. Maybe a nesting would be a good little swamp spot for uh, for some subaquatics and go hide down there. The juveniles can go hide if... if uh, you know, some big hunters come around, some big predators. Um, but yeah, right now it's just kind of, it is what it is. It's, it's there, <laughs> but it doesn't have any uh, real drive or reason to be there. All right, but we are off. Peace out, Meyer. And uh, just up the river here is going to be Drop Off Lake. Let's see if anybody's hanging out. Drop Off Lake. Okay, the rain just started up. So that's going to hinder our ability to see if it's safe down here. Haven't heard anything approaching. No calls, no stomps, no sounds of people swimming. So we might be pretty good. Approach vigilantly here and uh, keep an eye out. But yeah, we seem to be seem to be the only player kind of hanging out in the southwest corner of the map, which, like I keep saying, is is always pretty quiet. Uh, this is the this is another good little spot for some sarcos to hang out. Going from here down to. Uh, Traveler's Basins and back up is risky, um, but you've got some, some solid watering pools along the way. Um, I think there's actually quite a lot of quests up here at Drop-Off Lake, so currently I've got the one to deliver three branches. After this, I think I have pine cones, and I think there might even be one for branches just to collect along the river. Not to deliver, but to, to collect. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's crank these out real quick, shall we? Got ourselves a second branch. Drop it off. Drop it off. Spamming E. Drop it off. There it goes. <laughs> and we've got a third branch, which I'm going to be smarter with. We walk, walk around and up to slowly. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, so there's the next quest. Gather 25 roots and 50 pine cones. It looks like a big number, but they're actually pretty much everywhere. Like, I can see some roots over there, so... The process of editing. Alright, just like that. You guys don't have to watch a whole quest. Pine cones and roots. Oh. I'm surprised only a 50 50 marks for that. It feels like sometimes like really easy quests give you a ton, like 200 marks, and other ones are like, good job, you ran around for five minutes, you get 50. I mean every one I'm collecting is also a mark, so I ended up getting like, I don't know, 67 or something like that. Uh, marks there. 64, 70 marks there, not 67. Um, but yeah, we have done drop off Lake's quest. I thought there was one to collect branches, but maybe they're altering them and changing them and, and whatnot. But we do have the one to find food, so I'm going to use my cheat sheet. Now guys, I do link the cheat sheet down in the comments below or in the description below. So if you'd like to go use this map that I'm pulling up right now, it's called bullnona.com. It's great. They have a map for both the Isle and for Path of Titans. Um, and I think even, let me, let me check, let me check. Eh, no, I was going to say also Beast of Bermuda. I think they might have in the past. Anyway, I'm going to look up some food. Give me a second. Okay, and luckily the old cheat sheet here says that there is food pretty much directly north of me. There's actually a little bit of a, of a lake up here, a little bit of a watering spot, um, which I do remember when I was hanging out here as my Sarko and, you know, going between... Uh, Traveler's Basins and, and up here at Drop-Off Lake. I do remember that there was a big group of Spinos that came and it forced me to kind of run away. And I came up here and I hid right in this little corner for like a good 20 minutes. Like they were all over the place. I heard them stomping around and uh, one guy almost came up and walked past me, but he didn't. And I was like, ooh, I was like sweating bullets, you know, just sitting there super worried that they would find me. Um, but yeah, there is a watering hole up over here, so if you are kind of pushed out of the area, you can come up here and uh, get some water, and you won't die due to that. But we're not looking for the water. We are up here to quickly grab some food, and it should be just over here. Let's see if I can locate it. I see it. Yep, there it is. Big old corpse. Alright, dig in, Sandile. 
Now, I do know that I said I'm going to be looking for critters, um, but I haven't really trained my eye yet to, to see the the burrow and be like, hey, that's the burrow. It's just kind of, kind of my eyes just kind of gloss over it uh, still. So, um, for this rest of the episode, we are going to go south. We're going to show you guys uh, World's Falls Edge down here. Just kind of take a peek at it. And maybe I'll try my damnedest to find a burrow in World's Falls Edge. Let's see if World's Falls Edge specifically has a burrow for us. Up. All right, check this out, guys. I noticed just south here there's another watering hole that actually has its own name. Oh, I guess technically this is the Green Gully Haven. Yeah, it's one of the havens that they have like down into a hole. Very cool. Um, all the havens are going to be really, really good hunting, not hunting, really good nesting grounds. And um, yeah, I'm excited to use them. This one looks kind of hard to get down into. If it's surely it's got like a, uh, a way in now maybe maybe to the south there let's go investigate yeah look at that so that's that's where it was right there's no way in there unless you go through this like cave little entrance over here and how do I get down there from here oh on this side maybe wow so the, yeah you can like really get tucked in there I mean you're kind of trapped but you're also able to defend yourself in there so you know <laughs> Hit or miss, but yeah, it looks like you can get there from the south, and then you kind of worm your way back into the north. Very cool, very cool. We're also right next to, um, what, this is going to be the southwestern waystone. So you can see that we've got, like, the uh, the glowy mushrooms here that we're coming up to. Now, actually, it reminds me, I want to talk to you guys about this, so... Not sure how many people of you, how many of you people have played Path of Titans with friends specifically. I pause because I was about to say, when you summon somebody to that waystone, it goes down to 0%, which just happened. I think somebody's here. I actually think somebody's here. In fact, I think two people are here. I think somebody just summoned in another friend. What I was going to mention is that when you do summon it in and it resets this waystone, it, oh, it resets from one party member, which is really dumb if you've got like two or three friends that you're all trying to teleport to one spot. You can only teleport one in until, uh, you know, you teleport one in and, and it does what it's doing now where it's uh, not, it needs to be restored. I'm trying to figure out, it's it's drained. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. But if that just hit 1%, surely somebody's like just down in here? Let's peek our head in and see if anybody's here. That's eerie, why would nobody be here but it's at 1%? Did I just miss somebody? Maybe. Eerie, guys. It's really quiet. Been quiet all day. We're tucked super far back into the, uh, the southwest corner of the map. Is nobody going to be here? Maybe they're hiding. That's strange. Okay. Well, this does give us uh, a quest that I can kind of grind and deliver these over and over again. Um... Wait, why didn't you deliver it? Deliver it, Sandile. Oh, it's not letting me. There it goes. I gotta be closer. Five marks each. Not bad. Alright, this one's gonna be quite a grind. I'm not gonna lie. I'll probably be at this for about 10, maybe 15 minutes. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna stay quiet. But I'm gonna deliver all these mushrooms here. And uh, try to restore this. Just to see how much growth we actually get for this. Because this is a pretty rare quest. It's not often that you can do this, right? You can only do this when somebody summons somebody else in. But yeah, I'm very confused on why I didn't see somebody, because if it's at 1%, surely they're like around here. They're just watching me. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna knock this one out, um, see how many marks we get, and I'll bring you in if uh, if they show up, whoever it was that drained this. <laughs> oh, somebody is here. Hello, hello, hello. It's a fight. Don't don't mess with me, man. Don't mess with me. No need, no need. No need. Oh, little raptor. He's fast. I got to stand my ground if he starts attacking. There was somebody here. Maybe he just showed up. Ooh, little raptor guy. We both, he bit at me and I bit at him and he missed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roaring at me. He's probably, yeah, he's like, nah, none of that. There he goes. Maybe he was fully grown though, because he had a pretty blue skin. I think it was the bluebird skin. 
Gosh, I thought I heard him too. For a second, I was like, anybody there? And all of a sudden, yeah, he was there. Whew. Quick, all right. I knew somebody was here, but does that mean there's two of them? Or does that mean he just showed up to somebody, some, like, summon somebody? Not sure. Okay, I'm gonna... Gotta be vigilant. I'm not too worried about him killing me, but he could try to fight me, which would... Might be pretty even. But, uh... I don't know. I've got kind of the advantage here with some... Squirrely terrain all around us. I'm gonna keep keep at it. <laughs> but yeah. Ooh, he came out of nowhere. He came... He's quick. But hey, good to see that even out here in the middle of the southwest corner of the map, you can still bump into people. That's that's pretty cool to see. Even on a quiet day like today. Alright, it's been about a minute or two. I think he ran off. He may be hanging out down there at that watering hole for a little bit. But I think I think he saw that I was ready to bite him if he got close, and he's like, nope. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, looks like we're about to complete it. I just turned it in. It was 98. It goes goes up automatically, so it's 99 now. And it going up automatically is why when I saw it at 0%, I was like, somebody must have immediately triggered that, right? So, hopefully here it is. And I didn't. Okay. 20 for completing that. Kind of low. Only 30 seconds of growth, too. Kind of average, not gonna lie. Now, I was getting five marks every single time I turned in a mushroom, and I turned in, like, ten mushrooms? Maybe maybe a little bit more, maybe twelve? I was running back and forth for a while. Um, so, actually, let's go ahead and uh, take this time to kind of check in on... Oops, not social. Go to character. We've got 2,298 marks. Not bad. Uh, as far as abilities go, we're gonna be buying a new hide one once we're sub-adult, so we should have plenty of money there. And, sorry or whatever your name is. I'm not going to join your group today. Um, so those are abilities, and as far as skins go, we're going to need a lot more. I'm uh, still not sure exactly which one I'm going to get. Probably the one that's, that mentioned sand. Where was it? Yeah, sand bell. I mean, come on. I'm playing sand now. I should probably get sand bell. And this does kind of look like sand bell. I'm not going to lie. It's got the stripes <laughs> with the gold. The gold and the, uh, the, gold and the black. <laughs> Yellow, really tan, brown, whatever. But yeah, all things considered, the the quest to replenish that, mm, good on marks, but when some quests just, you know, you get done like that, like that delivery quest I did, now of course that one was exceptional, it was like right there, um, but you know, ignoring, ignoring the, that, the delivery quest gave like 200 marks, so, yeah, I don't know, might not spend my time in the future doing those uh, replenish quests for the waystones, they seem to not be super good for growth, as far as the amount of time you're putting into getting them done. But if you need marks, yeah, they'll, they'll give you some. Okay, last thing for today's episode, guys, because I know it's getting towards the end of it. Uh, let's go check out World Falls Edge and look for that critter and see if we can nab us a critter kill right at the end of the episode. Onward. And of course, while I run, I'm going to be keeping my eye out for that raptor. He could be all over this place. Be a little bastard. <laughs> now, let's see how many marks I get for this guy, right? Because I spent all that time going back and forth for the uh, the stone replenishment quest. That gave me 50 plus 5 every mark. So I got, I got about 100, but it was a lot of time. This one, 80. And it took no time at all. And it still gives just as much growth. Interesting, interesting. And now we have one to collect 50 pine cones and 50 acorns, which is probably also just going to give me 30 seconds of growth. So, got to kind of pick and choose what you want to do here in, uh, in Path of Titans. But since I'm kind of just chilling today down here in the southwestern corner, we're going to do them all. <laughs> Plus, I saw like a bajillion acorns over here. So, let's get this guy done real quick and then off to World Falls Edge. And easy 50. That one actually only gives you 40 for 40 marks, um, but it does give you the 30 second growth. And that one was actually really quick and really easy, but um, everything was centralized. Sometimes you got to hunt for those for a long time. So, you know, it is what it is, but we have gotten a full bar today of growth, which is decent, I guess. <laughs> it's nothing to write home about, I'll be honest, but uh, 
hey, slow and steady through Sand Isle's life here. You guys are seeing everything that it takes to do growth out here in the uh, the official servers. So it is what it is. Um, but again, I kind of like that it's slow. I kind of like that we're going on a grand adventure and there's lots of things to remember once we officially get to uh, full adult. Okay, well, we have less left Crater Pond and it's finally on to today's end goal is to find a critter we got to find a little bit of a uh, little bit of a nest here a little bit of a burrow for them to be in and i'm hoping one is out here at world's fall world's world world edge falls <laughs> i think i said world falls edge like a million times today but the falls at the edge of the world there it is world's edge falls nice and uh gather some flowers while we're here too yeah this should be nice to do while we look for those burrows now, to be honest, guys, I'm really not even sure about the frequency here of burrows and how how common they actually are out in the world. Um, I would assume there's one or two for every importantly named area, and I would consider World Edge Falls to be pretty important in the sense that it's it's one of the four corner sections, one of the four locations in the one of the four corner of the map. Um, so I would assume one's out here, but man, I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> I feel like the burrows are going to be something that we as players have to kind of start to learn where they are. They're kind of like the downed corpses, right? Um, where once you kind of once you kind of see one, you're like, oh, that, you know, that that exists here at World Falls Edge. Like I know now that there's uh, there's ones at Corpse Cove. There's ones at Fine Lakes with Lagoon. Those places make sense to be at. Um, but down here, not so sure. But I'll keep my head on a swivel while collecting these flowers and hopefully we bump into one hey look at that home cave decoration reward we had a red ginger plant for collecting flowers all right i'll take it but everybody here is the reveal welcome to world edge falls it's pretty much just a bunch of cascading waterfalls that that's the main four if you will uh, but it keeps continuing all the way down there. You can even see over there There's another waterfall that all leads into this little lake down here um, Which I'm actually gonna go to because if there is a place for a burrow that they would put it I would, I would assume that it's down there if I was a critter <laughs> and I was building burrows out here I would probably put it down there where all the water drains It's a nice little ecosystem down here. So let's see if the devs thought the exact same thing that I'm thinking Okay, any burrows hanging out here? Any cheeky little herbivores that want to be nommed on today? Hmm. Doesn't appear to be so right now. Let's get some water real quick and then we'll roam around just a little bit longer, see if I can find one here. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I have looked a little bit around here not seeing one so i think i'm going to unfortunately call this episode a bust as far as finding critters we know they exist we know that they're around and perhaps it's something we can find at the beginning of next episode we are going to chill here at world's edge falls i like logging out in relaxing areas i like places that are going to be safe for me to log in and honestly this rock it's just calling to me look at this Look at that. Is that not a perfect... Well, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Look at the camera. Look at the camera, Sand Isle. There you go. F12. Take a picture. <laughs> awesome. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Like I said, it's a little bit slower, a little bit more laid back. This series in general is going to be kind of this way. We might have some fun episodes, and eventually once we start hunting... Oh, yeah. We're going we're gonna to ramp up the energy for sure. But yeah, just been kind of a relaxing afternoon here with Sand Isle down in the southwestern section of the map. Highly recommended if you guys just want to get some growth and peace and quiet, not have to worry about people killing you when you're out there. Just trying to get the full adult so that you can go kill people when that's done. <laughs> Alright everybody, but for me and Sandile, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I have been Jay, but until next time, 